How's it going, everybody? I'm Bob, and I got to talk to you about something regarding motivation and really applying yourself in the learning process. As I've been in the industry teaching and mentoring for the past 10 years, I've come across a few excuses that I, I've got to address. And the only reason I'm addressing this is because I really care about you. I really care about people. And it may not apply to you, but it probably applies to somebody you know who's trying to break in. Getting into IT and cybersecurity requires a certain level of dedication to learning, uh, investment of time and resources. And over the years, I've come across some very, very motivated individuals. I mean, people who they stayed with me for 16 weeks and were able to get a job. And that's about a semester's time. And one thing I've noticed about them and others that are really struggling to get in is they have a real commitment to their studies. They will put their resources into certifications and purchasing certifications and spend the time studying for those certifications and getting those hands-on skills. Uh, as I mentioned, I've had students that they got certs and they got jobs way before graduating, within a 16-week period. I've also had individuals I've come across who are complaining about the cost of resources, who may be complaining about how much effort and time it is taking, um, maybe complaining about how what they're learning is really challenging. And the, the thing I've got to tell you is if you will buy a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox for $500 or $600, but you're not willing to invest in buying a, some books for $100 and a certification voucher or really, you know, setting aside that time to go train, you're probably not going to break into the industry. Uh, I've just got to be real. And I'm not saying that to be pessimistic. I'm just saying there are people out here who are trying to get into this field that are doing this at home. They've got home labs. I, I, I'm not saying my, my home lab here. It was not something that I built in one day. It's been built over years, but I've intentionally done that, and I work with it on, on my downtime. And that has helped me become a better creator, a better practitioner, a better tester, a better everything, because I'm putting my time and my resources into it. You know, I spend money on technology. You can ask my wife. <laughs> Pretty much all my money goes back to some technology I want to buy. And over the years, as I've invested in that, that return on investment has been better opportunities for me. Opportunities that allow me to help other people. Opportunities that pay more. That create more opportunity for me to go do fun things. I have fun. Don't get me wrong. I skateboard. I hang out with my son. I go on vacation with my family. I get video games. I like video games. But over the years, I've, I've dedicated a lot of time into studying and, and developing myself, and it's allowed me to get more fun things. And I see so many people that they, they talk about not having enough time to put into this, but they will spend four hours on their phone. And don't get me wrong, scrollitis gets a lot of us, but what I'm telling you right now is that if you really want to break into this field, you really want to become a pen tester, you really want to become a network engineer, you really want to get into IT in general, or cloud, or whatever it is, you really got to invest time. You're, you're watching me right now, and I hope it's encouraging you and not discouraging you, but the next thing you should probably do is go find a YouTube video on that thing you want to learn. You want to get into cloud, go look up cloud. Cloud, how do I learn cloud? What's the best way to learn AWS? How do I get the AWS certifications? What are some jobs in cloud? Start reaching out to people in cloud. You can reach out to me and, and ask any questions. Get, connect with me on LinkedIn and I will give you advice. Um, and I'm going to keep it real. I hope you come across more people that keep it real with you. Start going to conferences, networking with people, trying to figure out ways to break in, looking for ways to do internships. As you learn, as you learn more, you can earn more. Your skill set is, is your services that you're going to provide. 
So if you're having trouble finding a job in your area, maybe you got to start a business. But to do that, it requires you putting that effort forward. Maybe you got to go get part of the Chamber of Commerce. Go to a local town festival. You know, a lot of small towns in the U.S. have these, uh, you know, celebrations and every now and then a bunch of vendors come together. Why not go to those? Go check with your local community college. Is there opportunities through the local community colleges? There's, there's a lot to do out there. And I've just felt it on my heart to come to you and talk to you about that because I think that, there, that uh, you may have everything that it takes, but you're just not applying the effort because these educators out here like myself, you'll find the ones that really care about you, but it's going to also take a certain level of commitment and dedication to making this work for you. I believe in you. I know you can do this. Let me know if you need help. Throw some comments down here. Give me, give me some comments. Give me some ideas, thoughts, questions. If you're an educator yourself, feel free to give some advice down there. But I, I, I need you to know that you have this brain that God has given you that's got so much capability to learn and accomplish things beyond what you can imagine. It's right on the other side of that decision for you to go forward and do this. Even if you fail once or twice, keep going. I've failed certifications. I, I remember the first time I took my CCNA, I failed. Guess what I did? I went back and I studied and I passed. The CEH, I failed it first time. I went back and I studied and I passed. Now, it, to me, I didn't ever fail that, right? I mean, I know I, I didn't get it on the first attempt for those, but I, I just... Failure to me is completely giving up on the mission. Uh, you can do this. Keep learning.